I was on a television show when I was younger, Felicity. Right. And um, I've never heard of that show, but <laughs> I'll go along with you. <laughs> um, and uh, when that show ended, I took a long break because I, I just didn't know if I wanted to act anymore. Really? Yeah. And moved to New York, and you know, just got to kind of be a kid and you know, read books and wander the city. And I can understand the need for a break after an experience like that where you, you sort of wouldn't, because I would assume you're still sort of trying to define who you are at that age. Right. And everyone else has this idea of who you are. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I wonder, I, I think for me it was more, um, I, I didn't grow up desperate to be an actress or, you know, it wasn't something I went to school for, it was something that, I, uh, I was a dancer. That's kind of like the only thing I'm trained in, and um, I just fell into it. I happened to be at this audition and happened to get it, and then just kind of kept working. Did that feel like a bigger transition than the Mickey Mouse Club thing in terms of fame being recognized? Yeah, and I also think um, because I was the main character, I was sort of in it on my own. It was like if someone was going to have to do an interview, it was going to be me. And I sort of wasn't good at it anyway. Like, <laughs> the first time, I just didn't know anything about any of that stuff. About how to do an interview or how to... Yeah, yeah. like, I, I, like, I remember having to go to New York and doing, like, a big round of press. And I had to go on, um, it was like a daytime show, Rosie O'Donnell. Okay. I cried. On the show? A tear came out of my eye. Live. I was like kind of pretending it wasn't happening, but I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> I think those shows are so difficult with a giant live audience. You know, you have seven minutes. All of a sudden, you're like, you hear tell the that music. joke, be funny, be funny. And you're like, yeah. oh. and then I was wearing the shirt, and it was like, <laughs> and there's someone with a headset going, okay, three, know, two, like, <laughs> like, how are you not getting nervous? <laughs> so uncomfortable. Did you find that experience jarring in terms of not being able to come in on your own terms and? N not feel like the room had an opinion about you? Back then, I think I was less concerned about how I was perceived in my career and more concerned about how it was affecting me personally. So I think, I don't think I was worried about, oh God, they're never gonna let me play that drug addict. I've always wanted to play a drug addict. You know what I mean? I think I was more like, I just want to go somewhere and they don't recognize me. Yeah, what, what was that? I just didn't think like? I wanted to be any more famous. I think. Did any, it feel like you just had no control over it? Yeah, and imagine now. Like, that was the olden days. Right. You know what I mean? There was no social media. There when was Us a, magazine came out once a week. Once a week. Yeah. Like, thank God they, someone wasn't following me, taking my picture. I guess there's no way to know what that's going to feel like until it happens. And once it happens, there's no going back from it. There's no going right? back, yeah. It, did it feel out of control a little bit? Um, I was working so much. Like, you know, when we shot that show. It was like 26 episodes a, a yeah, year? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do like 22, 24 a year. Crazy. And um, I was basically in every scene. So we would shoot, you know, like 16, 17 hours a day. So it would start Monday morning at 5 a.m and then you'd finish Friday night by 5 a.m. So like, I had no life other yeah. than that sound studio, <laughs> that sound stage in Culver City that we were shooting in. And, um, and I was I'm really happy to do it because I loved that job, but I, it was life arresting for my age. Like I, I remember watching these girls, it was like a Saturday, and um, I was going to see like a matinee or something in Santa Monica, and I remember watching these girls who were sort of my age, like they were just friends, and they were going on some fun, like, trip all together in a car, and I remember I cried, because I was like, I just want that life. I just want to like be kind of like a teenager, yeah. sort of, or like a college student, and just fuck off with my friends, and like there was no room for that right then.